This year, the Rolex Daytona has turned 60. And of course, for a birthday or anniversary year, Rolex is gonna go big. Now, we have five new references, but really the only changes, aside from one model in particular that we're gonna dig into just in a bit, are case refinements, where the case profile has a different sheen. The bezel is now surrounded with metal around its ceramic insert. But where things get really, really interesting is when we look at the actual 60th anniversary model in Platinum. Because when you look at the dial and you look at the bezel, you think, wait a second, this looks exactly like the 50th anniversary watch. But then you flip it over and you realize that the new caliber 4131 is in full view with a first ever for a Daytona produced by Rolex exhibition case back. So as I mentioned, we have five references, one in Oyster Steel, one in Rolosaur, one in 18 karat yellow gold, one in Ever Rose Gold, and one in Platinum. As expected, each are 100 meters water resistant with screw down crown and screw down pushers. The case still clocks in at 40 millimeters in diameter and 11.9 millimeters in thickness. And each is outfitted with an Oyster bracelet, except for the yellow gold model, which is on a handsome black Oyster Flex strap for a bit more of a casual and sporty vibe. The new caliber 4131 for each model boasts a power reserve of 72 hours. And these watches are available now for inquiries, because as we know, these are gonna be pretty unobtainium for the foreseeable future. And anybody who is waiting for the previous Daytona models, well, sadly, they've been discontinued. You have to chase after these five now. So, it's Daytona, get racing. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Time and Tide channel for all the latest watch news, reviews, and content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.